This is the last of my uh, backyard garden beds. There's uh, quite a bit happening here, although it looks like not much is really going on, but it is. Got a nice pot of basil. Love basil. Have it everywhere. Have it everywhere. These are rutabagas. Now, they actually, up until about the end of May, they, they looked awful. Like They were about the size of these inner leaves in here. Very small, and I thought they were not going to do anything, but they're coming along very slowly. So I was going to uproot them, but then I thought I'll leave them. And I'm glad I did. They might do something well. <laughs> These were wasabi radishes. They've pretty much gone to flower and they're, of all the wasabis I planted, this one here, it's going to probably taste too woody now because it's gone to flower. But that's the only one that actually produced a radish, a round one. All of them didn't do anything much. I uh, will. I'm going to clean it off and give it a taste and update you on that in a little bit. But for now, the rest of the garden has some parsley. My bok choy has all gone to seed pretty much, so there's not much I can do about the, the plants. I think I'll try them again. They'll probably do better towards the fall. So I had already uprooted a bunch of them because they just, they all bolted. And I've been replacing with some lettuce. <coughs> Excuse me. So at the end of the day, no big loss, no big loss. Things can always be, can happen later on. Tons of peas growing, of course, and they're getting, they're starting to get nice and big. This is my celery. Some of it is getting quite big. Well, not quite, it's still pretty small, but it's coming along really slow, really slow. Um, not like the ones I have growing in my rehab section there. Keep missing weeds. I thought I had done all this like a week ago, but I guess obviously they just keep coming up, eh? Whatever. So, so it looks like a couple of these are doing nicely. And then I've got some, this is a, a green cabbage with some red cabbages here. They, well, they don't need to be sprayed again, but you know, you can only spray it with that BTK so often. But they're coming along nicely too, and they've got some uh, summer savory next to them. Summer savory was like really, really red for the longest time, and then it's just started to turn green. Now, I never have luck with broccoli for the most part, especially in the garden, because it gets hot here pretty quickly, but so far these guys are looking pretty good. Again, I have to spray these to get the BTK out. I have a basil here, and there's lettuce, nasturtiums, with some more broccoli here. And this is my turnip patch, which is pretty much ready to go, because I've lost one because this guy here has bolted now and I think I will just leave it as that and let him go to seed and collect those seeds and I think I will start uh, collecting the rest of this stuff now because uh, it looks like they're all pretty yeah look at that look at that guy right there that's a good size those are good I have some green cabbage growing here the late bloomer he'll catch up he'll catch up I got my rosemary, and then this is my other uh, rutabaga plants. It's a different variety than the, the one at the other end. Now these ones have really just gone like crazy, like literally just over a month ago, or no, under a month ago, they were not as big. I think they're probably like half the size of this. Now they're getting quite nice in size. I don't know if I can see. Well, yeah, you can see there's the start of it. I did grow them last year. I didn't get, a, you know, the size you get in the grocery store. And I don't really expect to get them that big because obviously they must do other things differently. But so far, so good. So far, so good. And then more pepper plants at the end. And it's already got, I've already got some nice little bud blooms starting there. And there's another pot over there. And our delicious apple tree, which did not bloom for us this year, so no, no apples from it. No apples. And then just the rest of the back of the garden here. It's a lot of 
lush wild growing vegetation. I know you've seen the greenhouse in another video, but in the couple of days since I shot that video, this guy has been growing quite nicely, very nicely. I still have to take him down. Yeah, things are doing good in the garden. Things are doing well in the garden. But I will keep everybody updated on stuff as it happens and as things grow. It's late June. We still have July and August left. September too. Maybe even October if it stays warm enough. You never know here. You never know. <laughs>